light the burner. Mm -hmm. First, it, it, it runs the, um, the starter motor to clear out any fumes inside the, the engine. Then it lights the burner. When it waits for the burner to get hot, like six seconds. Once the burner gets hot, it starts to turn and crank the, the starter motor and it starts feeding in kerosene. Right. And then once it has ignition, once it verifies that the temperature is rising, there's ignition, it speeds up the starter motor to 12,000 and waits for the preheat. So it wants the temperature to rise to 240 Celsius. Once it reaches 240 Celsius, then it switches over and it starts to switch from the kerosene fuel line to the main fuel line. It transitions the between the two, line to the main and then it ramps line. it up. And then you get into to, ramp, and now yeah, your it ramps engine it up to like, is actually running. The starter up to 50,000. Once it gets up to like 55,000, then it's considered running. Then it gives me control of the throttle. Behold, before that whole time, there's no control of the throttle for me. It's all under the ECU. And then once it's got control of the throttle, then I can just take over and take off. It'll say so, running when it's you know. Running. Okay, so. Roger, go ahead. These guys want to see this thing. Get in as close as you can. So, gonna get a bit so now we're going to turn this on. We're going to turn that on. We're going to see that box come up. So it says it's ready. So if I put it like this, it'll say trim low. That means that nothing's going to happen. It's on kill. That's the temperature inside the engine. 14 Celsius or 60 degrees. 58 degrees, right? That's the RPM. This is the pump power. Pump power is um, the voltage that's coming to the pump to run the engine, but that comes in later after the engine's ignited and it's switching over. Okay, so now we gotta go ready. ready. Now, he's ready. now I'm just gonna throttle gonna up and down and it'll start up, the process. The okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. So throttle up. Okay, now it says the burner's on. Okay, there it goes. Can you see it? Mm -hmm.
1920. That's what it's capable of putting out, and that's what That's where I said it. That's where I want it. Was it flight time on this? Less than 100 Celsius. It weighs the RPM drop to 3000 and it starts up again. And the transmitter I don't need anymore. I can turn the transmitter off. It doesn't matter because it's still cooling. So the temperature has to drop below 100 and then the motor stops. It keeps cycling up and down, up and down. And these are the two batteries. That's the receiver battery and that's the turbine battery. And they're both on this generator. Same generator. Yeah, so it feeds both of them when it's running. Right now it's running on battery because the generator is dead, you know, it's not running. See also the runtime. I'll show you the runtime after it finishes this on that screen. I mean, does this after every flight? After every flight, yeah. And if it doesn't do it, you must do it. There's a way to do it. You just throttle up and back down and up and back down to manually do it. You must do it. You can't let the engine stay hot and all the heat soak. So now it's at 96 degrees. It may do it one more time. And the engine is so free, the, the bearings, look, it's slowing down like 100 RPM per second, 900, 800. This is the engine in the front that's turning. Okay, it goes one more time. That's the last time, probably. So, if you click here, you're going to see 
the voltage on the battery is 8 volt on this battery, turbine battery. And the pulse, it means the throttle is 0% right now because it's in the cooling mode, shut off. Here's the info. So the last run was 908 seconds, so it's 15 minutes and 8 seconds. It's 12 minutes of flight time, but there's 3 minutes of startup and cool down mm -hmm. included in that. So total time is 403 minutes since the engine was new. And 24 cycles means 24 flights. So since the engine was new. So 24 flights for 403 minutes.